Frank Hafe Show. Brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. And now your host, Bruce Howard. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard, joined by the head men's basketball coach at the University of Tulsa, Frank Haith, and uh, just the one game this past week, and you can't even blame COVID for that. It was just kind of the way the schedule worked out, but a nice win for your team against Temple midweek. Yeah, it was. I thought our guys really played really played hard, uh, Bruce. I thought we, we competed. Uh, you know, we had some good practice time, and it really, you know, there was carry over there. And, and in terms of our intensity on the defensive end, and, um, you know, how we, we went after those guys. And uh, so it was a really, really good win for us. Yeah, Golden Hurricane taking on the Temple Owls. Again, it was a midweek game and the only game on the schedule for TU. And in a moment, we'll be back and we'll have highlights of Tulsa taking on Temple right here at the Rental Center on the Frank Aid Show. the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show, and Coach, you get ready for the Temple Owls on a Wednesday here at the Reynolds Center, and, and your team really, I thought in the practices leading up, that intensity started to build. Did you sense that? Well, more, more obviously the intensity was good, but more importantly, where we were playing better together, and, uh, and you could see us just, you know, having the repetition and getting our confidence back. I felt like that was the case. Now, obviously, the intensity was there, but I think our intensity's kind of been there at practices. We just needed to be able to have some consistency with, with things going well for us to carry over in the game, and I thought we had a good stretch of that at practice. Yeah, and you had a couple of practices to kind of to, to, to work on that, and that was, that was good. That was good work for your team. I'm yeah, sure. we didn't have a Saturday game, so we were able to – uh, previously, so we, we, had, we had some time, some good practice time, and uh, I thought we had fresh legs, too, uh, and you could see our, you know, we talked about a couple things we wanted to see early in this game with stance and close out and, you know, paint touches, and there's the there's one paint touch and a kick out for a wide open three to Austin Ritchie. Austin Ritchie with the bucket. You had Keyshawn Williams as a starter in this game. Yeah, and Keyshawn had some really good practice. We talked about what you know, he could do, and there he is, you know, penetrating, but playing off two feet. That's a play probably early in the year, you would have seen him not do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that shows some growth, and another three by Brandon Rochelle. Good hustle here by Darren Jackson. Jackson with the steal, Keyshawn Embry Simpson with the layup. Good transition play right there, and uh, we need to get our transition game up. We need to knock some balls loose, and I thought, we, you know, I think we turned them over 19 times. So that means we had good active hands, and. Really good execution here in the out-of-bounds play, getting Austin wide open three in the corner. Actually, I think his foot was on the line of two. Right. 
and that made it a 10-10 ball game, and now you're up by two, and there's Darian Jackson again. Looked like he got hit, but hey, take the bucket, right? Yeah, good drive and a good finish over high hands of Temple's defense. Josh early gave you some good minutes here, which he is did. nice to see. Really nice to see. You know, Josh obviously has come off a serious injury, so he's right. he's still not quite back 100%, obviously, but you could, this is probably his best game so far. And I mean, he, when I talked to him after, he's really fatigued. Good one more pass right there by Curtis. And how good can you be when Austin Ritchie's making those shots? Huh? Well, it opens up things for us and it helps our spacing because people got to run at him. And, uh, you know, it does give us a chance to really have better paint touches because of his, his, his three-point shooting. And nice shot by Keyshawn Embry, ready hands, ready feet, knocking that, that shot down. And the Golden Hurricane up by two as we get on the back stretch in the first half. This would be a really good finish to the half for your team. Yeah, a good pass by Keyshawn Patience and, and love it when Manny goes straight up and finish that thing in traffic. Good one hand dunk for Manny Ugbo. And the Hurricane again, as you can see, with a minute to go. Now look at that score, 24-22. And that's one of the plays of the game as Elijah Joyner gets the end one for you. Yeah, nice uh, triple threat, shot fake, foot fake, you know, and getting the defense out of, out of uh, stance and then attacking it, which is a good play by Eli. So Joyner gets the basket and the end one, and so the lead goes to 27-22, and then down the back stretch here at the end of the first half, you're looking virtually for the final shot. Shot clock and game clock very close to each other, and boy, you can't get much better than that. Yeah, really good execution of uh, space play and attack, and uh, obviously you gotta make the shot, and a uh, good shot by Keyshawn. Really terrific, 6-0 finish to the half, and there, you're, there you are at halftime, eight, and, uh, eight point lead, and you're, you're eight and oh when you lead at halftime, so uh, that's always good to see. It is, but our defense is outstanding at that point in time, and they're shooting 33%, 29%, but 22 points. And uh, so we're, we're doing what we need to do on that end of the floor, but obviously we're making some shots, but I think our defense is what we, went, we got back to getting really good at. Well, here we go to the second half, and you can see the score at 30 to 24 at halftime, and that's a nice move by Ray Edowu to start things. Yeah, you know, Ray really struggled as he was in foul trouble most of this whole game, but that was a good finish by him. We wanted to get him off uh, going here in the second half. Uh, there's Darren. Darren, I think Darren had a stretch where he scores eight straight points where he's just all over the floor. Right, you can see at the start of that it was 36-33, and this would be a run for your team that would basically pack the game away, but uh, Darian Jackson, outstanding, really good active player for you. Yeah, and, and good rotation on the defense where there's nowhere to pass that ball, and there you get a chance to see Darren in open court with his speed. So now you have the nine-point lead. Again, there's Darren on the glass. Just, uh, you know, just doing, being active and being aggressive and, and playing to his strengths. So you can see at this point it's an AO run, but it'll continue on a play where it looked like Brandon got hit, but he got the shot up and in. Yeah, we're, we're playing in transition, executing right here, good ball movement. Uh, there's Austin stop on a dribble handoff behind the screen, or, or the draft cut, I should say, and knocks down the three. So the Hurricane get that double digit lead against uh, Temple. Good backdoor cut here. Yeah, good execution on our, when the team's up on up the line on us, and uh, nice pass by Curtis. Curtis did a really good job passing that ball. And I'm looking at the stat sheet here, or at least the play-by-play -play sheet, and I'm seeing good layup, good layup, layup, yeah. layup, you know, getting lots of touches in the paint. Paint touches, paint touches, and being aggressive, and you know, we got, I think we shot 23 free throws this game too, so that's, that's more like Tulsa basketball. And again, you get it in the paint, and Eli with a terrific drive. Good finish, good hesitation. Uh, but notice our spacing on the court, which is really good. Nice pass by Keyshawn Williams, and again, there's Josh getting back to what we think Josh was going to be at the beginning of this year, healthy. Yeah, they, uh, the lead got as large as 18, and now Temple starts to whittle it down. They started making some shots, Coach. They did, and we took ourselves out of play on that three. I think it banked a three here, too, mm -hmm. uh, but they, they do a good job. And they fought, like you see their, some of their clips of their games, they fight hard when they've gotten behind. Uh, uh, but that's, that was a big bucket by Brandon on the drive there. And this is a huge step back three for Eli Joyner. And that uh, with a minute and a half to go after they had knocked the lead down to six, they'd, they'd, got, they'd have cut it as low as five, but boy, that was a dagger there. That was a big shot to kind of, you know, seal the win and kind of get that separation needed to finish the game. And, uh, you know, Temple's shooting, uh, uh, they, made their last, they made six shots in a row. I right. think it was in the 30s and 20s before that. Uh, give them credit for keep fighting, but uh, I thought our defense was pretty good in this ball game, and uh, 
but we had good play. I think we had four guys in double figures, so it was a really good team win for us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that Temple team hit nine out of 11 down the back stretch. So, uh, and some of that was with people in their faces. Yeah, they were yeah. kind of desperate. So, well, they played hard and yeah. you, they kept fighting. So you got to give them credit, their coaching staff credit for keeping those guys playing after it. Huge win for the Golden Hurricane as they take out Temple. In a moment, we'll be back and have uh, one of a couple of different features here on the Frank Hayes Show. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal, both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern comfort food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online. the American. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. This February, River Spirit is sharing the love of money with some lean, mean, mean green. It's easy to feel the love when you cash in on this sweet deal, your share of $125,000. Earn entries daily for two red-hot cash giveaways on February 27th. One $25,000 drawing plus a life-changing $100,000 grand prize. It's all for the love of money. Money, money, money. So take home your share of mean green only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Keyshawn Williams, freshman, Chicago, Illinois. My strengths as a basketball player, I would probably say my ability to like create for others, not only create for others, but like create for myself as well. So I feel like I can do a little bit of all of that. Well, what people don't know about me is that um, since I'm actually quiet on campus, they don't know that I'm actually like pretty funny, like fun to be around. I actually talk a lot, like if you get to know me too. So I would say I'm pretty funny. Yeah, I could dance, sing a little bit. I mean, I'm a multi-talented yeah, kind of type of guy. Favorite thing about Tulsa would probably be just the environment. Like, coming from Chicago, I mean, it's definitely different. But, like, the people out here, they're amazing people. I mean, it's very calm on campus. Like, I can walk around without having to worry about anything. So that would probably be my favorite part about Tulsa. Um, I would model my game probably after, like, Russell Westbrook or, like, John Wall or something like that. Um, what I enjoyed the most so far, well, considering we're in a pandemic, it's, like, it's kind of hard to, like, do things or enjoy it. But, like, I would just say, like, enjoying being, like, around different type of people, like the girls basketball players, my teammates, you know, because they're the only people I really talk to, so just hanging out with them most of the time. Um, they can just expect me to work hard, try to get the um, job done. I'm trying to win, so that's my biggest thing. I just want to win. I love winning, so. I chose the University of Tulsa because I came on my visit, and like, it just felt like I was at home. As soon as I came on my visit, Coach Hayes made me feel like, like I was at home. You know, the players made me feel like I was at home, so it just felt like I was home. Well, Keyshawn Williams, coach, is one of your young players, and I love what he said about why he came to Tulsa, the feeling of family and brotherhood. Well, and that's important in our program, Bruce, as we uh, continue to build and grow our program. We want guys to understand when they come here, they're part of a family. And, uh, you know, Keyshawn's a young man, I think his best basketball player. He's just going to keep getting better and better. He's so talented, I mean, gifted in terms of his skill set, his athletic ability. Um, you know, but, but he's a wonderful kid, too. And I think that's, those are all the characteristics we want in the young men we bring to our program. A little bit like Elijah Joyner in his freshman year, uh, Keyshawn's not afraid, right? He's not afraid to take a shot or even a big shot if, if it comes to him. Yeah, he's not. And I think his just, you know, it's just like most freshmen. Takes time, you know, and getting used to the speed of the game, getting used to the how you got to practice, getting used to, you know, the the, the intensity level. Uh, so, he he he's he's like most freshmen, but 
he wants to be good. And that's the thing I love about him. He, he does not afraid to spend time in that gym and to work on his game. Yeah, and he actually came to you and said, hey, what do I have to do to get better and, and, and get on the floor, right? And that's practice harder. And that was very <laughs> simple and, and be more vocal because he's a quiet kid. So we really want him to understand when you're out there, your communication skills are important, or Leo. We, that's a, one of the staples of our program, and he needed to grow in that area big time. Absolutely. And speaking of brotherhood, he is a, a brother, if you will, of Christian Shoemate. They both went to Bloom High School in the Chicago area. As we take it to break, here's a closer look at Christian Shoemate. Christian Shoemate, freshman in Chicago, Illinois. Some of my strengths that I bring, uh, I crash the best a lot. I'm a good rebounder for my size. Uh, I got a real high motor and I'm, I look to make the right plays. But one thing Tosa fans probably don't know about me is uh, I like to skateboard. My favorite thing about Tosa is probably how uh, everybody welcomes you right away, makes you feel like a family, and, and obviously I think I fit in and I'm real cool with everybody out here. I think it's a great fit. What I enjoy most about being on campus, um, probably just like being around my teammates, uh, practicing, getting on the floor and stuff like that. My friends would probably describe me as like a real high energetic person um, got like everybody say I got a lot of energy um, I'm real chill though it's just at certain times people just say I got a lot of energy yeah. real cool person though the American. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength. Taking risks and standing up for what's right. True blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. Let's come with it, y'all. Let's come with it. Okay, pop. Roll, Manny. Turn me up. The finish, kid. I'm back. Hey, Manny. If he hits you, I'm cutting across. Hey, let's run it up, G's. Hey, yell that roll up so he can hear you. Good talk, good talk, C. That's a hit. Three. Good catch, boy. Yes, sir. Good finish, boy. On the pass right away, dive. Because you had the first look. It wasn't nobody. Because uh, I didn't even have to come off. When I passed there, you could have rolled down the middle. He could throw over top. Hey, ball. Hey. We go. I'm here. I'm here. Come on. Oh. It, it might be two to the ball. I might not I might not even come off. I might just throw it. Uh, on that one draw you had when you watched it. You had me trailing the reel on the corner. As soon as he pick it up, we had a good try for a little while, but B had to hold for too long. For sure. We're back on the Frank Haith Show, and we are joined by Elijah Joyner, who is a senior guard for the University of Tulsa from Chicago. And uh, boy, time flies, doesn't it? You're in your senior year. Uh, it seems like it was only a few days ago that you stepped on the campus here for the first time, huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely flying by extremely fast. 
Tell us how you have evolved. How is Elijah Joyner different than he was when he stepped on to the court here for the first time in 2017? Uh, well, well I'm, I'm a veteran now, as they consider it, but I feel like my, my growth process on and off the court really helped me, you know, mold into the man that I'm becoming and still growing into. But, you know, just, just growth, you know, living and learning every day, you know what I'm saying, on and off the court, and it's helping me create this path that I'm headed to now. What about off the court? What were the things that, that you know, if you were to look back, you're going, here's how I'm different. What, <laughs> what are the things off the court that you're, you, you've improved in? Uh, I feel that, you know, I was a young, immature college kid, you know, when I first got here, you know, I made some mistakes, you know, but, you know, I learned from them, and now I'm able to think back on those things and reflect and understand that, you know, I was a, I was young then, but now, you know, I'm older and there's more responsibility that come with it. And as a senior, do you try to teach some of the younger guys some of those lessons perhaps that you learned, like a Keyshawn Williams, do you see a lot of of you in him when you were a freshman? Uh, yeah, definitely. You know, when you're a freshman coming in, you know, right away sometimes you think you know everything, and that's what I thought I knew, you know, as well. But, you know, you reach situations and things like that, and you have veteran guys who are able to help you, and I had that, and I'm glad that I'm able to be that for him. Now, even as a freshman, Eli, you played with no fear. I mean, game against Kansas State, you knocked down a three near the end of the game, kind of clinching that game. Yeah. Has that always been the way you've played? Um, I've always, I just always been a hard-nosed player. You know, I always stepped on the court and just had heart. I'm from Chicago. You know, from Chicago, you have to have heart to survive in that city. So that's just something that I carry with me whenever I'm out. Yeah, and, uh, you know, as you continue to evolve, we we advance now to your senior year. You're taken right on this floor. You yeah. you get a pass right over here at the top of the key <laughs> against Wichita State yeah. and race down the court and make a three at the buzzer. How mm -hmm. important and how much fun was that? Um, it, it was extremely fun. Uh, you know, I try not to think about it a lot, but that was like one of the best moments of my life, you know, and I was just glad that I was able to embrace it with my teammates, coaches, and I was glad I was to have some family here. Yeah, and you had your dad here. That was really emotional, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was glad to see him out there, you know, in a almost sellout crowd, you know, enjoying himself, watching his son play. Yeah, 22 points, five rebounds, five assists, I think only one turnover. Uh, it's got to kind of be the glittering moment for you at this point as far as like a game that you'll always rem remember, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, definitely a game that I'll always remember. Uh, it was it was amazing. I'm just glad that, you know what I'm saying, I was able to have that special moment. You have three siblings, two brothers and a sister. Mm -hmm. You wear number three because of your three siblings. Yes. You also have a tattoo on your arm that says family. Mm -hmm. Obviously, family is pretty important to you. Yeah, yeah, family is the most important thing to me. You know, being away from home for a very long time, you know, you... Sometimes you feel like you lose that connection, but with your family, it's always there. No matter, no matter how long you don't get a chance to talk, the love is always there. And I have my family with me at all times. Yeah, and good thing about, you know, this day and age with phones and stuff, at least you can stay in contact, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it's been tough navigating through COVID and not having contact, I bet, huh? Yeah, yeah, but, you know, we, this is the new norm for us right now, so we just have to take it one day at a time. Elijah, thank you so much for your time here. Appreciate it, and let's finish off this season strong, huh? Yes, sir. Thank you. Elijah Joyner joining us here on The Frank Haith Show. This February, River Spirit is sharing the love of money with some lean, mean, mean green. It's easy to feel the love when you cash in on this sweet deal, your share of $125,000. Earn entries daily for two red-hot cash giveaways on February 27th. One $25,000 drawing plus a life-changing $100,000 grand prize. It's all for the love of money. Money, money, money. So take home your share of mean green only at River Spirit Casino Resort. Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. Tender Mac is back at Slim Chickens. We start with a three cheese blend of Parmesan, Colby, and cheddar to make our legendary Mac. Then we top it off with our famous tenders and secret ingredients. Try our Tender Mac Bowl meal or our Buffalo Tender Mac Bowl meal both served with Texas toast and a regular drink. Whether you're driving through, ordering online, or using our curbside service, Slim's has Southern Comfort Food covered. Download the Slim Chickens app and order online.
Some people deliver packages, others deliver dinner. At Williams, we deliver natural gas that's safe, clean, and affordable, and have for over 100 years. That's how we fuel the clean energy future. Williams, we make clean energy happen. What is true blue? It's true loyalty. Supporting others with unwavering commitment. It's true innovation. Thinking creatively and strategically to make a difference. It's true strength, taking risks and standing up for what's right. True Blue is a 125 year legacy. Find the true you at the University of Tulsa. We're back on the Frank Hayes Show and Coach uh, Elijah Joyner joining us on that last segment. What a great ambassador he's been for TU basketball. He really has, and he's had a great career. I mean, a young man that, you know, epitomizes what you want your, your student athlete to be like and, and just has great toughness, great leadership, uh, great in the locker room, and he's had a wonderful, wonderful career. Okay, so now you get ready for Cincinnati coming up on Wednesday, and that's a, you know, you went to Cincinnati and won for the first time since 1968. It was a great win, and you, you shot the highest percentage you've shot all year long at Cincinnati. Yeah, and you know it's going to be a, it's a huge game, Bruce, because you're looking at two teams fighting for that first-round bye in the, in the conference tournament, and we're still in play for that. So a uh, big game for us and putting ourselves in a position where we get that first-round bye, obviously you think that's a great thing because you, you play one less game. And right. so we're right there, so it's an important game for us. Yeah, looking at those standings with the Hurricanes 7-7, seven and seven, uh, Cincinnati 5-5, five and five, and a disparate number of games. We don't know how all that's going to work out, so it's really important to nudge ahead of those guys, right? really is, and, and you know, and it's, just, it's senior week, so it's important for our seniors to go out on with a bang and have great success here in our building. Coach, thanks. Good luck. Thank you, Bruce. That is head coach Frank Haith, and that's the Frank Haith Show. I'm Bruce Howard. So long for now. The Frank Haith Show. Brought to you by Pepsi, Don Thornton Cadillac, TTCU, The Credit Union, River Spirit, and St. Francis Health System. Show has been a presentation of Golden Hurricane Sports Properties and a King Vision production.